there's a lot that seems impossible these days. Special 89 Joy Whiskey, okay, uh, so the first, uh, first one's Newark, you want to approach there? Uh, affirmative, just a quick visual at all three, low approach, and it'd be Newark, Kennedy, LaGuardia, if you can handle it. Number so 89 Julia Whiskey, uh, during these circumstances we probably should be able to, you can squawk zero tree zero two. But now that we have coronavirus and extreme social distancing, and with Eagle Mania on ice for the foreseeable future, I was able to find a banned flying mission, albeit a small one, and to do the impossible on the way home. And this time, we're gonna use the RV. I'm John Weiswasser, pilot and drummer for Eagle Mania. Follow me as I explore the practical use of general aviation while I travel the country with the world's greatest tribute to the Eagles. This is Life in the Fast Lane. The purpose of this sortie was to transport some large Pro Tools audio files of some of our recent shows to Frank, who is an expert at audio post-production. These files were all too large to email or Dropbox or WeTransfer. And with the coronavirus upon us and the strict quarantine measures in place, this became a bit of a logistical nightmare. Frank lives in Toms River, New Jersey, which is about an hour and 15 minute drive south of where I live and about a 30 minute flight. And this was the most perfectly impractical mission and I saw no reason not to do it. There was no sound check, and those of you who are following this channel will understand the reference, so as far as timing, the sky was the limit. For this mission, I decided against using the Meridian and instead opted for something a lot more fun. I completed the slow build on my RV8, November 898 Juliet Whiskey, in July of 2004 and have logged about a thousand hours in it since. With a 180 horse Lycoming and a composite prop, I cruise at 150 knots and am fully aerobatic. Not long ago, I redid the panel, and I think mine is probably one of the most technically advanced avionics setups in the fleet. METARs at Caldwell and Ocean County were both VFR, although there was a layer at 4,400 feet at Ocean County, but it was no factor. Tafts for the area were all solid VFR. This was all due to a high pressure area centered over the upper Midwest. I went ahead and copied all the files to a hard drive for Frank. Sadly, these files were recorded at a show we did at the Patchogue Theater on Long Island a few months ago, which last week shuttered its doors due to everything that's going on. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Yeah? Yeah. What's going on? Nothing. Weather's nice. Yeah? I was going to head out to the airport. Okay. So, um, maybe I'll see you, I think, around like 11.30 or so. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Clear. Call tower RV898 Julie Whiskey, short of runway 4 VFR to the uh, west, ready for departure. RV8 Julie Whiskey traffic left downwind from runway 4 is an archer wind, just to 6 runway 4, clear for takeoff. Okay, clear for takeoff, traffic in sight, runway 4, 8 Julie Whiskey. So as I'm sure you've figured out from the title, the real purpose of this flight was to do the impossible, a landing at Newark, LaGuardia, and Kennedy in one flight. I've lived in the New York area for a total of 28 years, and I've been a pilot for 27 years. And long ago, I would hear of people attempting this at maybe three or four in the morning, but I was a surgical resident at the time, and there was no way I could manage something like that. Fast forward to now, Ordinarily, during non-COVID times, the possibility of landing at all three would be truly impossible at any time. Even asking would be ridiculous. But given the current circumstances with United flying nine flights a day in and out of Newark, their big Northeast hub, I decided it was worth the effort. My strategy was to confirm the lack of traffic by listening to New York Approach and Newark Tower on the way down to Ocean County. If there was the kind of emptiness that I suspected, then I would attempt it on the way back from seeing Frank, and I would ask for low approaches, really low approaches. Staying a good 10 feet away from Frank, I tossed the hard drive over a fence to him. This whole time is so odd. So our last show, our last time we all got together was March 6th. March 6th, I think. Yeah. That's right. That was in Vermont. That's right. Yeah. Jesus, it's been a month. Right. Wow. The longest I think we've ever been off. Absolutely. These guys are my brothers, and I really miss them. I miss performing yeah. and being with the band. And, right. And, and how I will never, ever take it.
taken for granted again. <laughs> As if we Not ever, that did. I ever did. Right. From there, it was time to attempt the impossible. I took off flying direct to Newark with LaGuardia and JFK programmed in my GPS, as if everything else in the world wasn't surreal enough. As I got closer, I listened carefully to New York approach, and when I was about 25 miles out, I pulled the trigger. New York approach, good afternoon, November 8, 9 or 8, Juliet Whiskey. November 8, 9 or 8, Juliet Whiskey, New York approach. Yes, uh, good afternoon. November 898 Early Whiskey is an experimental RV-8. We're currently 24 miles south of Newark at 2,000 feet. Request a low approach at Newark, Kennedy, and LaGuardia, and then a return to Caldwell if possible. Experimental 89 Julia Whiskey, okay. Uh, so the first, uh, first one's Newark. You want an approach there? Uh, affirmative. Just a quick visual at all three, low approach, and it'd be Newark, Kennedy, LaGuardia, if you can handle it. Number 89, Julia Whiskey, uh, during these circumstances, we probably should be able to. You can squawk 0302. 0302, really appreciate it. Skyway 3519, Cinema 18, 3000. Number 89, Julia Whiskey is right out of contact, about two miles north of um, uh, Colts Neck VOR, and uh, Newark South Limit of 3004. 3004, H. Julia Whiskey. Shortly after that, I got handed off to Newark Tower. Newark Tower, uh, November 89, H. Julia Whiskey, uh, with the unavisual low approach. Hey, Julia Whiskey, yeah, Newark Tower, continue, in by. Okay, we'll continue, H. Julia Whiskey. Experimental 89, or Julia Whiskey, uh, coach awake, Tower, Boeing 787, over to numbers 10205, runway 4 right, clear low approach. Okay, clear low approach, 4 right, H. Julia Whiskey. All right, so he's got that guy lining up to wait. So I am going to make this very, very quick. Having lived and flown in and around New York for as long as I have helped a lot here because I really know the airspace, in particular the Hudson Corridor. And uh, Julia Whiskey's on the go. Julia Whiskey, Roger, meeting B far to below 1,500, when able to turn right, direct the statue. Okay, direct the statue 1,500, H. Julia Whiskey. Ordinarily, and on a day like this one where the weather was pretty much perfect, the airspace would be teeming with activity, and passing through this airspace is an especially intense exercise in spotting traffic. Helicopters in and out of the three major heliports, other fixed-wing traffic following the Hudson Corridor VFR rules, and traffic overhead to LaGuardia. In other words, this area is usually an aircraft zoo. I'm Julia Whiskey, disregard. You can uh, proceed up the East River now, 1,500. Contact LaGuardia 118.7. Let them know what you want to do. Okay, 118.7 up the river. Thank you. H.O. Whiskey. Have a good one. You too. LaGuardia Tower, uh, November 89 or 8, Juliet Whiskey. 89, 8, Juliet Whiskey, LaGuardia Tower, uh, pay attention. Yep, 8, Juliet Whiskey's over the East River at uh, 1,500. Was wondering if we could get a low approach at uh, LaGuardia, followed by a low approach at Kennedy, and then a return to uh, Caldwell, New Jersey. You have LaGuardia in sight? Uh, affirmative for 8, Juliet Whiskey. All right, you can make the straight into runway 4. Straight in for 4. Straight in for four, each other whiskey. Thank you, America 9672, the wind is calm, runway four, clip takeoff. Runway four, clip takeoff, America 9672. May Julie Whiskey, just verify your experimental? Uh, affirmative, uh, experimental RV8 for each other whiskey. Right in. May Julie Whiskey, caution, wake turbine 737, that's part of runway four. And uh, runway four, clear to low approach. Okay, traffic in sight, clear to low approach four, each other whiskey. I've flown the VFR Hudson corridor a lot and it was really eerie to be the only one in the air over Manhattan. No helicopters, no other fixed wing traffic, no overhead commercial traffic into LaGuardia. Hey, Tower, can I make this a really low approach? As low as you would like to go, play low approach, they're only four of Julie Julie Whiskey. Thank you, A. Julie Whiskey.
Whoops. I guess that's as low as I can go. Yeah, Major Julie Whiskey Kennedy's unable to do that at this point in time. Yeah, anything else you'd like? I decided to punch out of his airspace to the east, over Great Neck and southern Long Island, and maneuver a little closer to JFK. I figured if I could get close and ask, they might be more likely to clear me. November 8, Julia Whiskey, your radar contact, 1,200 feet. Caution, obstacle. Uh, can you accept runway 31 left for your low approach? I'll take whatever you can give me for each other, Whiskey. Caution, uh, November obstacle. 8, Julia Whiskey, you're cleared into the Kennedy Class Bravo airspace and uh, clear for the visual approach for runway 31 left and uh, for now, climb and maintain 2,000. Okay, 2,000, the visual 31 left, uh, HLA Whiskey. November 8, Julia Whiskey, maintain VFR at or below 1,000 for now. Okay, at or below uh, 1,000 for now, HLA Whiskey. November 8, Julia Whiskey, you got to go uh, fly a heading of obstacle. 180 for now. I do have uh, right. some traffic on final for runway 31 Caution, right, a pair obstacle. of uh, heavy Boeing 777s. <laughs> no problem. Uh, uh, 180 for Caution, now, HLA Whiskey. Obstacle ahead. November 8, Julia Whiskey, uh, Caution, continue ahead. heading on a 180, heading until you uh, pick up the shoreline, then you can uh, turn westbound and uh, join the final for runway 31 left uh, at Caution, the shoreline, maintain VFR ahead. out of below one, or correction, out of below 500. Okay, uh, shoreline at or below 500, and then uh, once there, we'll uh, pick up the uh, final inbound to the visual 31 left, stage of the Whiskey. Southern Air 7640 Heavy, you have traffic at your uh, 2 o'clock, 3 miles, an experimental aircraft uh, descending to 500 feet. He's going to be joining the shoreline underneath you. Very good, we'll watch that point. And we're going down now for break speed. Remember 8 Julia Whiskey, one traffic one mile to your south, Heavy Boeing 777 descending out at 2,700 feet. Caution, wake turbulence. Inside, thank you, 8 Julia Whiskey. November 8, Juliet Whiskey, wind 160 at 11, runway 31 left, cleared for the low approach. Okay, cleared low approach, 31 left, thank you, Juliet Whiskey. Triple six eight five, ILS 31 right. Blue 685, Kennedy Tower, following the Boeing 737, wind 150 at Niner, runway 31 right, cleared to land. Clear to land, 31 right, Blue 685. In November 58 Hotel, upon leaving the Kennedy Class Bravo airspace, would you like further flight following or are you going to punch out? Uh, punching out will be fine, sir. Okay, Roger, thank you. November 8 Juliet Whiskey, say intentions. If we're actually direct Caldwell, thank you, HLA Whiskey. All right, November 8 Juliet Whiskey, you going to be landing Caldwell? Uh, affirmative, HLA Whiskey. Roger. November 8, Julia Whiskey, uh, do you want to hand off to Newark Tower? That'd be great for you, Julia Whiskey, thank you. Roger. You have to understand, to drive from Kennedy to Caldwell on a good day would take November an hour 8, and a Julia half. Whiskey, Even Newark though this Tower, is edited, it literally took 10 minutes in the air. 118.3, uh, happy Easter, thanks for your help, Julia Whiskey. Thanks, you too. Newark Tower, RV-898, Julia Whiskey, uh, just about uh, five miles from the statue, uh, 1400 direct Caldwell. Number 898 Julia Whiskey, Newark Tower. Proceed overhead, the runway 22 numbers at 1500 Newark, Timbers 3019, clear to cross Bravo airspace as required, uh, clear to cross Bravo airspace. Okay, clear over the 22 numbers, uh, 1500, clear to Bravo, Julia Whiskey. It was really sad how empty the terminal was. You could see maybe three or four planes parked at the gates. And a Julia Whiskey request direct Caldwell. 
I'm Ray Julie. Whiskey maintain via fire or, or uh, maintain via fire 900 approved. 900 uh, direct call ball. Eight Julie Whiskey. Number eight Julie Whiskey. Radar services terminate. Squawk via fire for exchange approved. Okay. Thanks so much for your help again, and uh, have a good Easter, Eight Julie Whiskey. Thanks you too. And from there, it was a straight shot back to Caldwell for a pretty uneventful landing. Hey, Julie Whiskey, winds 16013, gusts 2022, go to land. Go land 22, hey, Julie Whiskey. So my advice, if you're thinking of doing something like this, is overall, it just doesn't hurt to ask. Know the airspace, rehearse in your mind what you're going to say, how to say it, and have a plan. For each of these airports, I had a plan if the handoff didn't work. And in the case of Kennedy, I got lucky that it worked. In the meantime, here's what's next on Life in the Fast Lane. Four legs to and from Florida so that we can play 13 shows over the course of a week at Busch Gardens. And while I'm there, I get to fly one of the greatest airplanes ever built. It's another jam-packed episode of Life in the Fast Lane. <laughs>